Joyce, John, Russ, Brian, Jerome, Greg, James, Heather, Michael, Robert, Daniel, and Randy. Here, let me just show you this stack. I wasn't going to read them all off because I'm like, that's like a huge list. But here, look at this. Look at this. Ooh, yes. <laughs> you flat out are amazing. You're just outstandingly awesome people. I never thought... Never in my wildest, just we've been through this already, so I'm just gonna stop rambling. We have things to do, remember. Finally, we're getting some heat. I'm loving it. All right, so today's plans are we are going to run down to the post office, get rid of uh, those orders. We have to buy more overseas stamps. And we need to buy or more out of the country, not overseas. They'll go overseas, but those stamps are just a little bit more. We gotta buy those, buy some regular stamps, mail all the envelopes off. And then Warden and Tater Tot, they're supposed to get home tomorrow from their uh, Dallas trip. And before they get back, I wanna get something done to Sarah's car that, I, well, I wanna get the windows tinted. I wanna get the windows tinted in Sarah's car because she's always wanted them done and we tint all the windows in every one of our vehicles even my semis they all have tinted windows it's just so much nicer not having that sun beating on you so i think we're going to run over i i know we're going to run over because i did make an appointment over there to get that done you have a good one <laughs> you do Hey, Opie, there's some treats in that box right there that we just got. Did you hear me, Jax? We have treats in that box. There's treats for you and me. Yeah, from Arizona. No, those, the box is from Illinois. But we have a letter from Arizona, and we have a letter from Florida. Those people are pretty cool, aren't they? It's okay. You can go ahead and say it. But now I need to go back to the house and break your heart. I'm sorry, Opie. I got to go break your heart. Please forgive me. Please, please forgive me. You have to stay here. I do apologize, Opie, but you cannot go on this journey because it requires driving a vehicle that does not have your hair all over it yet. It's the one vehicle that we try to keep hair free. I do apologize to you. You, you have to stay here. turn it down there you go whoa let's turn that off okay it's like a rocket ship in this thing I rarely ever get to drive Sarah's car it's not a get to it's a, I just choose not to the Jeep has a uh, a lot of qualities and a lot of things that people love and a lot of things that people hate about them her Jeep is extremely nice. It's a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited, and I really like it. The only problem is I sit straight up and down in the steering wheel in the in the seat because of a previous accident I got into years ago that kind of hurts the hip if I go to lean back, and it wasn't an option. Any vehicle I get Sarah, I always look for a vehicle that does not have a sunroof. And unfortunately, this Jeep does not have a sunroof option to where you can get rid of it. So it, it actually has the sunroof. So when I drive it, if you guys would pay attention here, you see where my head's at? If I bring it over here, every bump you hit, you, 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 so I have to drive over here. It, it's kind of a foolish thing, but that's just the way I drive it. I'm just not a huge fan of all the modern stuff they put in these things. I really would like to see if one of these is actually around in you know 50 years if the, someone's actually still driving him or if they're all just sitting in a big boneyard because all the electronics quit on them another goofy thing that this thing does it actually shuts off at stop signs and stop lights that annoys me so I always push that button right there and it makes it to where it actually does not shut off at stop signs and stop lights that's just 
dumbfounded. I just find it very, very annoying. Uh, an easy way to take a starter out. I'm used to the vehicles that if it dies at a stop sign, you start freaking out. You think something's wrong with it. So, luckily they did put that button in. I wish it was an option to where you could buy it or where you could program it and that button just comes on automatically. But I don't drive it enough and, well, it's not worth worrying about if I'm not the one driving it. Look at that. You hit one button and the window just goes up. You don't have to hold it. small little town called Danbury, Iowa that we just went through there. It's a farming community about like every other community around me. It's just, it's all farming. I always threaten Sarah that I'm going to take her Jeep and I'm going to take it out to Colorado where it can actually be used as a Jeep. It still has the four low option, the rock, the snow, and the mud options on this little dial right here. That was one of my stipulations when we bought it was if it's going to be a Jeep, it actually has to be a real four-wheel drive and not an all-wheel drive. Because they do sell these things as all-wheel drives. And that's... Granted, this Jeep has street tires on it and it very rarely leaves pavement. But I still wanted it to at least have some sort of locking four-wheel drive. Where you can put it in four-wheel drive and it stays there. There isn't none of this all-wheel stuff. But I keep telling her I'm going to take it out to Colorado. And with the way things are right now, it'd probably be financially better if I took this thing out to Colorado and left the dually at home. You guys ever see road construction equipment out on the interstate and it's got Gomeco written on it? It's made right here in Ida Grove, Iowa. Alrighty, we got the cash for the window tent. I'm not 100% sure how much this is going to cost. The last time I got anything tinted for windows was the semi. That cost me 100 bucks. That was up in the city. But he's going to put some, I think it's called ceramic tint on these windows. It's supposed to keep it just a little bit cooler than just your normal tint. Never done it before kind of excited to look at it. I'm kind of excited that I don't have to go to Sioux City to get this done. We've become a family that has started to depend on so much up there in the city that I'm really starting to try to find smaller town things that I can get done instead of going up to the city to get things done. Well, some things you just have to do. Some things you have to get in the city. But it as I'm getting older, I'm just kind of trying to pick and choose small town versus the city stuff. That is so cool. One button. One button, and it just goes up by itself. Back there, the building you were just looking at is uh, Midwest. Shorelander. Shorelander boat trailers. Shorelander docks. I'm sure they got a bunch of other stuff, but if you have one of those, guess what? It was built right here in Ida Grove. I did about a two-year sentence at Midwest there. 
I worked there one, maybe two years building boat trailers. It was miserable. Dad worked there when he was younger as well. He's lasted a little bit longer. You guys get so used to seeing just uh, the interstate trucks that I show on my videos. Every once in a while I need to remember to grab some of those hopper bottoms or some of those feed wagons like that. Um, what do you call that exact trailer? It'd be an auger trailer because it's, it's basically a feed wagon that goes in and out of farms. It's got an auger that swings off of it and it's got each separated bin inside of that trailer where he can pick and choose which bin he's pulling out of and dumping into wherever he's dumping into. I'm gonna try doing that a little bit more often and showing other styles of trucks and other types of trucks and not just, uh, well, not just a bunch of door swingers, if you know what I mean. Well, I may have said I'll show you different types of trucks or different types of trailers. I did not tell you that I would be showing you different types of trucks. We are still a 100% W900 kind of crew here. That W900 right there is such the almost to the T of the color that I would love, just love to paint first class. But it'd be a brown with the cream colored fenders and tanks. We're early. So we're going to hang out here at Sparky's for a little bit. He doesn't live too far from here, but I don't want to get there early. So we're just going to hang out here for the next 10 minutes, and then we'll proceed on to get these windows done.
Oh, is he still driving the International? Yeah, dude. Wow. That thing's been totaled how many times? He's had that thing forever. So he's like, I'm going to get a windshield and you can do that too. And I'm like, man, that's like a freaking RV windshield, man. That's yeah. a beautiful truck, though. It's clean, man, for what, you know. If, if somebody didn't know what it's been through. It, well, yep. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah. I took him up in the arch and everything. Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I seen I've seen the arch going through town, going through St. Louis probably a hundred times, but I've never ever stopped and actually went and it's like eighteen bucks. Is it really? A person to ride the tram. And it takes you all the way up to the top. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's actually Cool. See a long ways up there. Yeah, I bet you can. just on the outside of Arthur, Iowa. I'll leave his information down in the description below to this video. I think he did an outstanding job. I went with 20% just like I do on all the vehicles. Um, even the Kenworth is at 20%. He does semis and he does pickups, cars, campers, houses, all kinds of other things like that. I like it, I really do really really like it I I think it really helps the car look a lot nicer from the outside view of it and from the inside view of it it really helps out with uh, I suppose the heat there's no Sun right now to tell about the heat though it's a ceramic tint versus in the semi I didn't do go with a ceramic tint I should have and there's always a chance of actually going in and getting it done still but excited to see how much cooler it's going to keep the cab of the car versus like the cab of the pickup does not have a ceramic it just has your normal window tint on it I feel it's kind of like an unspoken rule or an unspoken law that you are to mow your yard whenever your neighbor starts to mow their yard. I haven't seen it in writing anywhere, but I've kind of started realizing that even though everyone around me is darn near retired, that I need to keep up with them at mowing the yard. My yard will never look as nice as theirs as I glance over at my neighbor's yard and it's bright, brilliant, green, dark, luscious, light carpet, minus spotty, light green, and kind of jagged. I think it's just probably going to stay that way. Anyway, those tinted windows, they're going to work out real nice. Before you ask, what is that legal in my state of Iowa? No, 
no um the factory tint that comes out of the factory on your car is barely legal in the state of iowa they have very <clears throat> weird guidelines the further south you travel in america down into the heat zone or whatever you want to call it down there everybody's got their windows tinted all of my vehicles plus my semis have always been tinted at 20 percent and that's what that is right out there on the jeep is 20 percent and they don't really bother me they have pulled sarah over a couple times probably 16 years ago back when she used to have her oldsmobile alero it kind of looked kiddish so they pulled her over just to check things out but other than that we don't really get bothered a whole lot i figure if you drive right you should be okay i maybe shouldn't have put them on her windows then she doesn't drive quite right i think she'll be okay i do otherwise you guys stay safe and as always i will see you next time i think i'm gonna go buy a bike yeah, I feel like buying a bike tonight. Just a Walmart cheap bike, but I want a bike. There's no women here to tell me what to do. Troy's at a sleepover. It's just me and the dogs. We might go buy a bike. Teach them, leave me home alone. I bought a bike. I really did. I bought a bike. I haven't bought a bike since I was like 12, 13 years old. But I bought a bike for me. Not for one of my kids. I actually bought the bike for me. <laughs> I'm going to die.